people what's going on is inspired on nelson here again from millionaires and crypto i'm here with another video today we'll be talking about how you can do an ethereum transaction using my eta wallet all right a lot of people ask how do i log into my my eta wallet i can't find the login button i don't know how to assess my account so we'll be talking about all of this today okay now you can do Ethereum transactions on your blockchain.info wallet on any wallet that accepts Ethereum, all right? But my ETA wallet is recommended if you will be storing or keeping ERC20 tokens in that wallet, all right? So we'll be looking at how to use my ETA wallet today, all right? Before you get started, you need to have created um, an account on my ETA wallet, which I already showed you in my previous videos. You went to new wallet and then you created an account. All right, so on this video, we'll be looking at how to log into your account, how to do a transaction, how to maybe purchase or participate in an ICO using what? Ethereum, an ERC20 wallet, okay? So all you have to do is go to myetawallet.com which is the website, and then it opens up for you. This is the home page. Usually it will bring up a pop-up that tells you how to go about the site and how to stay safe, all right? Warnings and tells you a lot. So you can read up all of this for yourself, all right? I have read that severally, so we'll go straight into the business of the day, guys. All right, so what you need to do is come right here, go to send ETA and tokens, all right? Remember this wallet can save both ethereum and i also save what tokens which are erc20 okay so you can have your normal ethereum in this wallet and then you can also have tokens in this wallet so it will ask you send ETA and tokens how would you like to assess your wallet remember when you created your wallet it gives you it gave you different options to save your what key either your key store file your, your or the json file or the private key whichever one he gave to you you should have saved this information prior to this time all right most times we advise you keep them offline or have them somewhere only you really can access because whoever has the keys to the wallet owns the funds all right so this is something you need to take importance because one day this wallet is going to hold your millions all right so take it very seriously so all you need to do if you are using um the key store file you click on this and then you go select the file where you have the key store file you click on it and you say open all right but today i'm going to use the private key all right so you click on private key you go where you have that file saved and then you copy it all right this is a dummy private key i just cooked up all right as you can see it says private key private key private key because i don't want to compromise my own account here so when you do that you paste the private key here and if that private key is valid it's going to bring up a little pop-up box here a blue pop-up box that says unlock so you click on unlock boom and you get access into your wallet so you have all of your funds seated gorgeously in that wallet all right so i'm going to switch this video so i can log into one of my ethereum accounts so we can have it more practical you can see exactly how to go about that transaction all right stay tuned don't move and in all right you get that address pasted right here and then you need to look at this carefully whenever you paste an address here it should show you what an icon all right to verify this is almost like a barcode also address identification if the address is correct it's going to bring up the address identification but if it's not it's not going to bring up anything all right so let's say we take out e for example as you can see the icon is gone even if we decide to put another figure s or something it won't go through because even if the number of characters are correct it doesn't mean it's actually a correct wallet so we'll go back to the correct address and then it shows us the address identification so always look out for this okay as you can see this is same with what i have here because it's my address have pasted here all right so amount to amount to send you have to choose where you are transferring remember i told you this wallet can hold both it and then can hold tokens okay so you leave it at eth if you are sending it if you are sending tokens maybe you want to send token to someone 
you can choose the token you are, you want here and then send okay now if you are participating in an ICO you need to know the specifications for you to be able to send in your payment correctly all right many of them will give you the payment specifications and they will tell you the gas limit to use most times if you are sending tokens you need more gas all right because tokens are heavy all right so you need to know exactly what you are sending if you are sending tokens you need more gas okay so the gas limit might be adjusted right here and then also the gas price now this here has a drop down menu that makes you choose what you want as your gas price okay as you can see here the transaction fee is equals to gas price times what the gas limit which we saw here okay so some ICOs will tell you use a, a gas limit of hundred thousand some will tell you two hundred thousand and then if it's a time based ICO which means the tokens can be sold out any moment people are getting in to buy and you don't want to miss out increase your gas price right here so that you bring it to the fast it's going to cost you more to send it to transport your money over there but it's going to get there fast with the speed of light pretty fast if you use the 60 g w e i okay but if you are sending just normal transactions eth you're sending to a friend you want to do something that's not time based you can leave it at 21 which is the default but if you want to let it trek all right you don't want it to get there fast perhaps you don't want to pay much on gas fee and you're not in a hurry to get the token delivered or the eth delivered you can reduce it as the case may be but most times i always say um, transactions in eth are usually not expensive okay unless the network is really jam-packed all right so you can leave it at 21 that's the default and uh, is ad advisable so you can leave it at 21 GWEI, all right? So you put the amount you want to send, for example, I put 0 0.03 ETH, okay? Now, if you see this thing pop up, most times it gives you an exception error if what you are doing has an issue, all right? Now, I've put in this address right now, and then I put the amount I want to send. Most times it might be that the gas limit is too small, especially if you are sending to an ICO a smart contract okay it might be that the gas fee is too much the gas limit is too small rather so you might need to increase it so for example you might need to take it to hundred thousand let's see if it's going to still pop up that error 0 0.03 all right the error didn't come up well, remember this is my wallet maybe that's one of the reasons it's popping up because a normal ETH wallet should accept 21,000 gas limit okay so i'm sure it's trying to find out what i'm trying to do okay so when you increase the gas limit here you set your gwei which is your gas price then you are good to go you click on generate transaction it's going to ask you are you sure you want to make this transaction okay and then it says send transaction and then to give you a final pop-up to ask you you're about to send this amount of eth to this wallet are you sure and you say yes i am sure that's over it's going to send if all the parameters are correct the funds will be sent to that account but if it's not correct it's going to give you an error it's going to fail the transaction will fail but they might also have charged you your gas fee all right because it took gas to actually try to send and deliver that transaction so this is how you actually send tokens or send eth using your my eta wallet okay so if you are sending tokens it's almost the same all you have to do is choose the token you are sending here and then if you are adding tokens you just bought tokens they are not yet reflecting in your wallet you want to see them right just like you have 500 return have 15 150 lpx lots of tokens okay i will show you how to add custom tokens in your wallet all right so stay tuned for my next video i'll be sharing with you how to add custom wallet custom tokens to your wallet it's inspirator nelson here from millionaires in crypto thank you for joining us on this beautiful exciting journey to crypto millionaires all right if you have not subscribed to our channel feel free do yourself a favor click on the subscribe button and then turn on the notification there's a little bell beside the subscribe button all you have to do is click on it once all right and then you are subscribed to the channel with our notifications which means whenever we come up with a new video guess what 
you'll be first to know all right so thank you subscribe to my channel follow us on this journey to millionaire hood god bless you i'll see you in my next video until then stay safe